Spring Awakening is a musical that explores the transition from adolescence to adulthood as teenagers discover their sexuality, mortality, passion, and identity. West Texas A&M University theater students are in with us today. We've got Abby, Zach, Sean, and Hannah. Welcome to the program. Glad you guys are here. So I, I want to I want to know a little bit more about this. And Abby, I want to start with your, you. Uh, so I've heard that your character has a lot of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of info to go on, though, right? <laughs> so how how is that? How, tell, tell me a little bit more about your character. Well, she's her mom doesn't tell her the truth about some things. So for instance, she doesn't know where babies come from, and her mom oh, tells no. her that babies come from the stork. <laughs> so um, she's doesn't want to be ignorant, but her mom makes her feel like that she is. So, but she is curious about where things come from, and um, that leads to other things that happen in the show. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys are thinking, what, Stork? I thought we were way past this. <laughs> Let me dial this back for Zach. Okay, so Zach, mm -hmm. this is 1890, right? Yes. Germany, <laughs> you're playing a teenager. So how, how do you, you kind of dial that back to that time period? Uh, it, it's definitely a lot more uh, strict and uh, a lot of the physicality is different. So uh, the boys are expected to be m more up straight and proper and almost military-like. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that aspect, it, it's been kind of a fun challenge. All right, so um, Hannah, um, what's the music like in this, in, in, in this piece? Um, it is a, a lot of folk and a whole lot of rock. Really? Uh, yes. 1890 yeah. Germany, who knew? Yes. <laughs> yes, and it uh, poses a bit of a challenge because we do have to hold ourselves, like Zach said, in a different um, way in scenes compared to in the song because in your scenes you are a child in 1891 Germany, yeah. but in the songs you are the lead singer at a rock concert. So <laughs> it's It's a bit of a dichotomy there, a juxtaposition for sure. Okay, um, Sean, always good to, to catch up with you and I've followed your career for a really long time. So what did you do specifically to kind of research your role on this one and tell me a little bit about your character. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, again, that dichotomy, equal parts research of what it's like to be a teenager in 1890s, yeah. which is very different than being a teenager in 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so a lot of that research, what it's like, what the familial expectations yeah. are and societal expectations for a, a young man at that time. And then also what it's like to live kind of like a rock god <laughs> in, <laughs> in 1890 yeah. Germany. Yeah. Being able to, to come out of yourself and perform yeah. that very like uh, Panic at the Disco or even Freddie Mercury to yeah. come out of your skin for that moment. And really that's that only time that our characters can really tell you what we're actually feeling, what we're actually thinking and establishing that narrative through the rock world. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to go into the thing, but I do have one more question. I wanna fit this in. Did you find any similarities as you guys were doing this between growing up as teenagers, as you, as you were, mm -hmm. to back then? Were, were there anything that you kind of connected? You're like, through all this time, this, kind of, this is kind of the same thing. For sure. Yeah, the, I, think, I, think, yeah. I think the curiosity is growing up as kids is always the same. Yeah. And I think we go about it in different ways because each person is different in that. But uh, how you explore that as a person versus then till now yeah. has deeply changed. Um, yeah. A public service announcement real quick to parents based on what you said. Please talk to your children. <laughs> talk to them and be honest with them and open with them. Okay, I want to tell you, Branding Iron Theater over at the Sybil B. Harrington Fine Arts Complex, do me a favor. Uh, it's February 7th through 9th and the 14th through the 16th. You can find out more ticket information by going to the website. I do, just based on the fact that we're dealing with adolescents and a lot of questions and everything, there's going to be some uh, probably material not good for the kiddos. Um, w we, did we put a rating on this one by yeah. chance? Yes, it's it's rated, rated R. R. Yeah. Rated R. <laughs> no kiddos. All right, you guys can handle the, the, those discussions at home. But I, I do want to put that these these uh, students work so hard at putting these productions together. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing and go out and support theater because if we're not supporting the arts, no one will. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at news and weather headlines. Don't go anywhere.